Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to show you guys the game stuff first, then I'll show you the oddball things that I picked up and have a sale. Anyways, do the best first here. And, uh, I'd originally gone to this pawn shop to get some more games for the system I ordered, as in, this is going to give away what I ordered, but I'll still do an unboxing. But, uh, th this definitely sweetened the deal, man, as in made the trip worthwhile. And, uh, it's not horrible nasty, as in I've seen worse, but, uh, if I can't make it look any better than what it is now, other than removing a couple marks with a magic eraser, some of you may think that I'm crazy as fuck, which, yeah, <laughs> this sucker may get a freaking custom paint job, even if it is freaking, well... I don't know about insane rare, but scarce, as in this is the second one I've seen and the first one I've gotten my hands on in my entire area. Kingman, Bullhead, and Havasu. Anyways, found myself a Nintendo top loader. And uh, on the reason why it may get painted, this person was a smoker. Doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. Either that or it could have been from the sun, but I'm guessing cigarette smoke because uh, all the roaches that I found dead inside say so. Was that a fucking pawn shop? You talk about low class pawn shops? Every game system they get. This was the only one that didn't have a crazy ass high price on it. I saw this and I was expecting it to be some outrageously high freaking price because of what it is. Even the shape that it was in. It was filthy dirty. As in this little crack going down the middle here to separate the two halves. Just totally impacted with dirt and lint and filth. The switches were all nastied up and once I pulled them out after I opened this thing up, just totally just nastied up gunk and stuff every little crack and crevice was full of gunk this area here where it says Nintendo Entertainment System totally blackened with filth same thing in here that was even worse that was just totally filled in where it's got the Nintendo logo other than that man once I cleaned it up it's not really in that bad a shape other than just it doesn't look beautiful it's pretty ugly looking now but uh, the inside of it, I was expecting it to possibly have some rust here and there on the board. It's just full of freaking dead roaches and roach filth and just all over the board. So once I cleaned it all up, it doesn't look bad at all. And it plays like new. That's what sold me on it, man. It looks so fucking nasty. He's like, oh, hook it up for you, man. Show you that it works. And first game he popped in, man. Worked on the first time and every game that he tried after that. So that impressed me. For one, this freaking dirty to play a game right off the bat. Instead of blue screen, red screen, turd screen, whatever the fuck. As in I got a pile of freaking toaster Nintendos and pff, I've only got one of them that works now. And I don't even play on it anymore because I don't want it freaking dying on me. Those damn things are so fucking touchy. So anyways, this was a $50 deal for everything. The Nintendo was originally $35 because I got the Nintendo and got these games and stuff. Knocked 5 bucks off the Nintendo, so I got it for $30 with a regular standard controller. I'll have to see, hunt around, check with my friends and see if I can find a couple of dog bone controllers for it. Otherwise, no big deal and then power supply and AV I mean not AV but uh, RF cable and then um, these games I got were normally five bucks a piece he knocked five bucks off the pile so I got this little stack here for twenty so made everything fifty bucks instead of sixty bucks which I was cool with that anyways this first one here I'm sure by the time somebody answers me unless it's tonight man I'll have the system and already know what I ordered was an Atari 5200 two port system as in I did not want the original four port with the uh, burn your house down power supply thing 
I wanted one that has a real power supply that plugs into the back of the system and plus this thing looks nice hopefully looks really nice once I get it and the controllers have been totally rehauled as in anything that was wrong with them has been replaced or repaired but uh I've heard that system has problems with some of the aftermarket games like Pitfall and stuff so you guys may be able to answer this for me if this will work on a two port or not if not no biggie I'll still hang on to it in case I find one of the burn your house down versions anyways I got Frogger 2 3 deep by Parker Brothers and out of all the ones I got this one is the most notable on its age is in moisture there and the label starting to lift off but then these Parker Brothers games every system I've got them for it's whatever glue they used and the labels are really thin so they're always peeling off or doing something so at least it's on there still just needs to be glued down then the rest of them are official Atari games here got Star Raiders Super Breakout and these last two are in the best shape the last one more so got Joust and this, this cleaned up really nice I was surprised got Galaxian not a bad game haul now at another pawn shop and this is the one where I got in laser disc before they had the box after box full of them found one more movie here got Bruce Lee into the dragon and this is the remastered widescreen edition got it for two bucks and then got this big plastic laser disc or CD jewel case on steroids and it is full of paper sleeves all brand new so also got this for two bucks so that's it on this pickups video and uh, I'm able to track what I ordered and it shows that it's <laughs> all processed so first trip goes to Phoenix and then goes right straight here to Kingman so I should either get it tomorrow or the next day so once I get that even that you guys know it's a 5200 now I will still do an unboxing man is in I've never had one so it'll be all new to me and see what my first impression is of getting the giant monolith of doom is in uh saw some comparison videos and uh that's something to look up man speaking of uh, systems a lot of the retro systems that even ones that didn't last long you get online and find some of these sites that are dedicated to it damn a lot of them have different versions for anybody that's into the 5200 and has never seen one I'll try and find the site they were planning on making an Atari 5200 Junior system to where it was going to be about half the size and there's a site I found that shows the prototype of it and it's like this wide from front to back and it was supposed to be all better better controllers better this better that but uh, pff, as usual bad timing on it so it never got released and then on the Odyssey 2 man found another site for that system and there were freaking tons of different types and prototypes of it just for all the different countries they all got something different so kinda cool <laughs> it's worth looking stuff up in fact that's something I want to know is why is this so freaking scarce and rare as in this came out let's see 93 is the date on this one so I'll, the only thing I can think of is they released this and then not long after they canceled it and released the Super Nintendo I don't know sometimes that's what makes them rare 
kind of just their last little attempt to sell some more Nintendos. So, you got me. <laughs> some of you guys may be able to answer that for me as in really know little about it other than cool. Catch you all later.